CPIM has filed Shara Shah Halim for, as their candidate for upcoming uh, Baligand Assembly election or the bipol of Baligand Assembly election. Uh, and I'm being joined with her. Welcome, ma'am, to India today. Uh, an educator and motivation uh, you know, a speaker and, of course, um, a right activist. And now... Uh, a politician welcome to the battleground politics uh, i mean uh, what should i say like uh, your party is hoping much from you uh, yes there are a lot of hopes uh, pinned on me and i very humbly accept my candidature to stand uh, in the baliganj constituency for the upcoming uh, bipoles and uh, <clears throat> we will strive hard as we have been doing all these years and uh, i hope to make the cut and i hope to uh, <coughs> fulfill all the aspirations of Baliganj constituency and I am very very humbled by the trust and faith that the CPM has uh, reposed in me. Uh, Ma'am, uh, let me ask you one thing, which will be the issues I mean, you are going to address when uh, this uh, you know, crucial Baliganj uh, bipol is coming around? See, we know that Baliganj is a mixed constituency, they are <coughs> high rises <coughs> and then they are slum dwellers so i'll be working for both the segments of society not leaving out any you know because it's very important to uplift uh, you know and think about uh, poverty elevation in areas where it's required <clears throat> at the same time uh, you know we've seen the pandemic has resulted in a lot of uh, unemployment there are a lot of uh, youth who are dismayed because they are not getting proper employment and uh, we have seen issues of uh, rising prices. We have seen petrol, gas, diesel, and so many other uh, <coughs> household commodities, the price rising. So I will fight for their rights. I will fight for um, development. And I will fight for women's issues as I have been fighting because I'm very passionate about gender rights. So these are some of the <coughs> issues that we will grapple with. And another important priority is health, better health for all. We need to make um, avoidable, uh, sorry, uh, affordable medicine <coughs> accessible to all the uh, voters in, in Baliganj constituency because health has been a huge challenge, especially in the pandemic. You know, we've seen so many loss of lives. And this is something that we need to do uh, the readiness to face any such untoward uh, situation or challenge. So we should be able to meet up uh, to those challenges. So it seems like you have such a visions uh, in politics. But ma'am, let me ask you, because uh, you will be contesting Babul Shupriya, a heavyweight ca uh, candidate of Trimul Congress. And uh, of course, uh, you know, Bali Gans Assembly, it, uh, it's a... Uh, the legacy of Shubrutu Mukhopadhyay, uh, I mean, who had been the you know minister of uh, Mamata government, and it has been considered that this uh, constituency, where Trinamool is in a very positive uh, position. So, uh, when how we will you will uh, I mean uh, cope up with this because you are fighting uh, lots of you know uh, heavyweights. Yeah. So you know I think uh, heavyweight and lightweight is what people make uh, them to be. Uh, so I won't like to give any normal nomenclature uh, to anybody as heavyweight, lightweight, because end of the day, I think what is important is uh, your ideals, your principles. And if you have a fair and uh, free election without any maneuvering and everything. So I think uh, it will be competitive. And uh, like I said, I'm very hopeful. I don't want to be overconfident, uh, nor do I want to be underconfident. I just want to sound positive and hopeful that we will make the cut. And, uh, you know, again, I said, like, I uh, truly believe that uh, the constituents, uh, you know, in ba Bali Ganj would uh, repose their faith in me humbly. Ma'am, at a time when your party leaders are discussing the, you know, the leadership crisis at the uh, state committee meeting, and uh, we have seen the shrinking of uh, left vote bank in uh, the land of West Bengal in previous elections. At a time, you were, uh, you, you were, you just, just stepping in, uh, in, in politics. So, uh, how do you see, like, uh, these, I mean, fresh, uh, you know, politicians or uh, filing the youth as the candidate uh, from left, how do we see this? Uh, there's a saying, commit the R, commit the leader. So, uh, you know, I think the right things happen at the right time. So uh, the CPM was facing an anti-incumbency. Anti you know, what happens is uh, whenever a party has been power for too long, 30, 35 years, uh, yes, people also get a little uh, lackadiscal. Um, there are some internal issues that uh, need to be resolved. However, uh, they were not 
address earlier. So now with a fresh uh, lease of life, there's a lot of young people you must have seen in the previous elections also. The CPM has put up some wonderful candidates. Uh, there are a lot of women candidates as well who fought really well. So, uh, you know, because every party needs, uh, you know, an incentive, a fresh lease of life, new ideas, innovation, and uh, that is how uh, we evolve uh, as a human species, and that's how party parties also evolve. So, um, you know, with the guidance of the elders and the veterans, you know, and uh, Bimanda is there, Mohammed Salim sir is there, and so many others, uh, you know, uh, Bikash Ranjan Bhattacharya, they all have been very, very supportive and uh, taking all their advice and uh, their guidance uh, the young leaders will uh, try and mold the party according to um, you know uh, the aspirations the growing aspirations of um, a new generation and keeping the set patterns the ideals the old patterns so it is going to be a <coughs> nice influx of the old meeting with the exactly. new Thank you. A cocktail of you know old experienced people yeah. and of course with the fresh yeah. one yeah fresh ideas. absolutely with the fresh ideas so yeah so i'm hopeful for that yeah. thank you i appreciate your joining so c has her own new ideas definitely but it it, it seems like i mean filing uh, shara shah halim as the candidate of left uh, it would be interesting this bipole with camera person sam shundar ghosh this is riktik from kolkata for india today